Excellence. Excellence begins with students. Excellence begins with community. It begins with parents. It begins with employees. At Tempe Elementary Schools, excellence begins with me. Laura and Kathy are exemplary teachers. They're extremely passionate about uh, the content area. They have an excitement that they bring to the classroom and uh, they have a love for teaching and kids in this school and it shows each and every day that they come here. I teach math because I love teaching children. I love math. I have a passion for math. I also have a passion for excellence and I demand excellence in what I do and what each of my students do. Yesterday we talked about using the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. I have some kids that are putting in a zero. So I'm checking to make sure you're writing two detailed paragraphs about your mathematical thinking. And if not, I'm giving it back to you to correct. So that's what I'm doing. I'm quickly looking to see that you showed work. My first two papers are awesome. I've got two good paragraphs. I've got work shown. Isn't that what I expect out of you? Yes. And that's how you grow as a math person. We don't really just teach math. We teach them how to be good people. We teach them how to be polite. We teach them um, how that you have to be, you have to have perseverance to do well in life and you can't just give up and it will get easier and you will fall down, but you pick yourself back up. They're both extremely creative and when I talk about being creative, they use a variety of chants, uh, choral responses to get full engagement in their classrooms. Ready, teach. Absolute value is how far a number is from zero. On line. Absolute value will always be positive. Absolute value of opposites are equal. Break it down for you. The absolute value of four is four. One, two, Three, four. The absolute value of negative four is four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Yeah, and I think we teach math the way we would have liked to learn math. I mean, everybody remembers the lyrics to your favorite song, so why not incorporate mathematical concepts into songs, have them move, your, move their hands, use both sides of their brain. When I was in school, the reason I didn't like math for a long time because I felt like if I messed up on an answer and I got a bad grade on a test, that, mean I was, that means I was bad at math. When that's not true, the focus should not always be on the answer, it should be on the process. That's why when they take a test, if you mess up on that test and you know what you did wrong and you can explain what you did wrong, then correct your test and earn some of your points back because that's what learning's about. We say, you can do a math problem. Yeah, I got the answers 12. How? Can you articulate it? Can you describe it mathematically, step by step, that you could explain it to someone who really doesn't understand it? And that's a deeper level of understanding that we're striving for. The C stands for? Copy, copy add, add, the opposite. opposite. What's the opposite of negative 13? 13. So we just change that into an adding problem. Now we use, are they the same or different? Same. Same signs. Adding keys. So our answer is positive 23. Yay. It's so much easier to add the opposites. What we're really proud of is when the kids came in in the fall and they took NWA, we only had 24% of our students proficient at meets. By the end of the year, it was up to about 70%. And that did translate onto the Ames test because we did have the highest growth index in the district for sixth grade math. Awesome. Enough time on that one. <laughs> Ready, teach. Okay. Triangle, quadrilateral, hexagon, heptagon, octagon. Come on, Savon. Octagon, decagon, and decagon. Good job. Excellence begins every morning when I get up. I know that my affect directly affects my children, my students. You can't demand excellence from your students unless you're going to come in every morning looking excellent, acting excellent, acting positive, acting like you want to be there, acting like um, this is your passion in life. If we want our students to go to the highest level, we have to then demonstrate that as teachers. I like to 
tell kids that, you know, you, math might click for you, not right now, maybe in October, maybe next year, but math is about, and all learning, is about learning from your mistakes, never giving up, and we always try to emphasize that to our kids that life is, it, you're going to do well in life if you work hard and if you believe in yourself, if it is to be, then it's up to me.